Don't let any witch scare you. Don't let any terrorist scare you. Don't let any killer scare you. No devil can find whom God hides. What is the preservation power of purpose? Or say it this way. How does purpose preserve? And we're talking about the purpose of God. Number one. The purpose of God carries the backing of the might and almightiness of God. The purpose of God carries the backing of the might and almightiness of God. That is God himself is at the back of his purpose. In Isaiah chapter 14, and in verse 27, Isaiah chapter 14, and in verse 27, he says, For the Lord of hosts has purposed, and who shall disannul it? He said, And his hand is stretched out. Who can turn it back? It is God himself who said, This is what I want to do with this man's life. This is what I, I am doing with this girl's life. This is what I am doing with this nation called Nigeria. Who can disannul it? God himself is at, at the backing. His might is at the back of his purpose. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He leadeth me beside the still water. If where God leads, he backs. He doesn't just lead, he backs. He doesn't just say, go this way. He follow you, follows you to ensure you reach there. Number two, the purpose of God carries inbuilt divine preservation power. The purpose of God carries inbuilt divine preservation power. That is, once you are on his purpose, inside that purpose, preservation is built in. Yeah. That is, many devices in the heart of a man where we read, but the purpose of the Lord, that shall stand. Inside that purpose, what to make it stand is inside. Let me give you two examples from creation. When a hog, all right, uh, a giraffe delivers a child. At times, a mature giraffe can have a waist that is 20 meters high. And the child falls from that height and lands on the floor with a pressure. And less than 20 minutes, it shakes itself. And it's on his feet walking, following his mother. What has happened? Jehovah knew the height from where it will be born. So it wired into it the survival mechanism to survive the fall. Without a head injury, without a brain damage. Ay, 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 ay. Take your, your seat. A baby horse. What is the name of a baby horse? Foal. F-O-A-L. That, that baby lands from a lesser height, but lands on the ground with the same force like a giraffe. And they say that the baby horse is born and begins to run the same day. Because God created them as a racer animal. So his purpose was wired into it the same day. Push a man inside the river. God forbid. They say he has drowned. If he can't swim. Put fish inside the river. You have given him paradise. Because his purpose is to function there. He can't die there. 
God wired it with the preservation mechanism to filter oxygen out of the water by the gill system. It just, it just, it's so the oxygen is filtered from the water. You need nose to pick it from the air. It gets its own from the water. It, it absorbs it from the water. So that's his survival. His purpose was wired with preservation. Do you understand that? Take care of sin. The purpose of God, our scripture there, was still proved out of a 19, verse 27, 21. The purpose of God has filled you with preservation power. Number three, the purpose of God attracts the ministry of the angels of God. When a person or a life or anything lines up with the purpose of God, it attracts the ministry of the angels of God. Proverbs chapter 103, sorry, Isaiah chapter 63, verse 9. First, before we go to Psalm 103, verse 20. He said, in all their affliction, he was afflicted. And the angel of his presence saved them. There was an angel that followed them to their land of purpose. And that angel was right there to defend the purpose of God that they represented. So 103, verse 20. He said, the angels of God, they hearken to the voice of God's word. They are listening for what God is doing. And they are doing it along with God. You see, the military of any nation defends the interest of the nation. In the same manner, the angels of heaven defend the interest of heaven. If you are on the earth and you are representing heaven's interest, you secure the defense. So the angels of heaven, how does purpose preserve? Finally, the purpose of God attracts the guidance of God. It attracts the guidance of God. All right, the purpose of God attracts the direction, the, the guidance or direction of God. And you know that direction averts destruction. When you line up with purpose, you are connected to direction. You know, in 1 Kings chapter 17, verse 3, after Elijah had spoken to Ahab, God said, get the hands, turn you eastward, hide yourself, hide. I know you have the anointing to call down fire, but this time, hide yourself for my reason best known to me, by the brook cherith. That is before Jordan. God directed him to seek, save him from disaster. Hide yourself. So there may be times where God will give you some such instruction. Don't go this way. Go this way. You remember the story of um, David and the men of Kiyom. Little people, Philistines came to attack them. And David went and defended them and saved them. Then Saul heard <laughs> that David was in Keilah. And Saul said, okay, I will go and catch him there. And David said to God, oh Lord, you know I have been very good to these people. I even fought for them. I hear that Saul is coming. Will he come? God say yes. <laughs> he said, okay, question number two. Will the men of Keala hand him, me over to him? God say yes. David said, oh boss, let's be going. He did not assume that the people he fought for will shield him. Because assumption brings destruction. In the journey of destiny, never assume. Always be clear on direction. The story I just talked about was in 1 Samuel chapter 23. You can read from verse 1 all the way to verse, verse 12, but I was talking from verse 10. I just finished fighting for these people. 
it is normal to think that they will fight for me too. No, life is not like that. There are people you help that turn back to hurt you. There are people you stick your life for that will be ready to sink you when they have the opportunity. That's not to say you should be angry with people and be suspecting everybody, but be guided by God. Be guided by God so you don't, you don't, you don't end in the destruction of assumption. He said, they will hand you over. Saul will come. Number two, they will give you to him. He said, okay, I won't wait for them to give me to him. He found his level. That is, when you are on purpose, direction is easy. This year, that direction that will save you from destruction, God will give it to you. You know the young man during the fast in Makodi Central Church who testified that he saw some personnel of the security forces and he heard the voice telling him, buy them suya. And then he bought them the suya. And I said, but he said, I'm a student. How can I buy these people suya? He said, well, you the, the stick meat, the suya. And then shortly after that, somewhere else where he was, some group of criminals, cultists, robbers, killers, ran to where he was and they were being chased and mixed with him. And they rounded off all of them to waste them because they were caught in action. Whatever. And when they came to him, they said, no, is this not the boy who bought us suya just now? He's innocent. He can't be among these people. That saved his life. You know, many innocent lives have been killed many times. He was saved. He was saved because of direction. One direction that will save your life is coming your way this time. Somebody say a louder amen. A louder believers, amen. Finally, how do you walk in the preservation power of purpose? Number one, understand that you don't just exist. Understand that you exist for a purpose. Let it be clear to you. Don't ever think your life is an accident. Understand. Isaiah 43, 21. These people have I formed for myself. They shall show forth my praise. Isaiah 43, 21. Understand that you exist for a purpose. Number two, determine to understand your life's purpose in God. First thing is to know, I am not just here. There is a purpose for my life. Next thing is to understand your life's purpose in God. Somebody say, but I don't know the specific detail of um, I should be a doctor, I should be this, I should be that. When you don't know that yet, follow the one you know. Which one do I know? Show forth his praises. Serve him. Line up your life with what the scripture says to do with your life for God. While you are in the way, like Abraham's servant, God will show you the road. First Peter chapter 2 verse 9, you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a peculiar people. Show forth the presence of him who called you out of darkness into his light. So be someone who is shining light in your generation. You are the light of the world, Matthew 5, 14 to 16. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. So shine light. Be a generational illumination. Find out your 
purpose. Understand your life's purpose in God. Understand you don't just exist, but understand your life's purpose in God. Number three, exist with the mentality of a purposeful creature. The mentality of a purposeful creature. That mentality. What is that mentality? He said, as he thinketh in his heart, so is he. That is, let it be constantly in your mind that you were not created to be wasted. That you are not created to die like chicken. Proverbs chapter 23, verse 7. Just understand that. I am not dieable and killable like chicken. And my time to leave this world is not near at all. Whatever happens to you, don't ever say, is God aware that I live? Does God know I exist? I'm saying what somebody said many time ago, many years ago. Is God aware that I live? Can you ask God if he knows I exist? God, who created you? God, who is too busy? Who is too business-minded? Will waste his time creating an entity? That person died. Next thing I heard was death. Find out from God. Does he know I'm, is he aware that I live? Allow the devil take you to such a point. And every form of frustration that brings such thoughts into anyone's mind, today I curse it to its roots. 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 You shall have the victory. 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 Stand on your feet and shout, I have the victory. Shout it louder, I have the victory. Shout it loud, most, I have the victory. Shout it at the top of your voice, I have the victory. Say after me, say, I exist for a purpose. I am not existing. To be wasted. I am not a wasteable material. I shall fulfill my purpose on earth. Exist with that mentality, number four. Take your, number three. Take your seat. Now number four, please. Walk in the known purpose of God for your life. What do I mean by known? What you know God wants you to do. Walk in it. While you are doing that, you trust him to make known to you other specifics. Walk in the known purpose of God for your life. You shall serve the Lord. You shall bless your bread and your water. You have not chosen me. I have chosen you that you should go forth and bring forth fruit. That your fruit should remain. And whatsoever you ask the Father in my name, he will do it for you. John chapter 15 verse 16. Those kind of things. You just walk in the things you know God wants you to do. While you are trusting him to make known to you any other thing you don't know. And finally, trust God for divine guidance and direction at all times. Trust him as you journey through this life. Proverbs chapter 3 verse 5 to 6 said, trust in the Lord with all your heart. And lean not to your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him. And he shall direct your paths. Lord, I'm about to take a journey. Um, are you okay? Lord, <coughs> I'm, I'm having a lot of pressure concerning this relationship. Are you in it? Let him direct your path. Don't, you will never marry who will marry you to kill you. Do you understand what I'm saying? Not that he carry knife and kill you. He trouble you so till you die. 
hypertension, ulcer, migraine. Somebody was telling me today of somebody who troubled his wife, said the, the woman ran mad. You won't marry who will kill you. You won't marry who will put your life under pressure. There are people there. I don't know why I shifted to marriage now. There are people they were happier before marriage. They were bubbling with life. They know how to smile. Marriage disappeared the smile. It will never be your portion. You won't enter a business that will kill you. You won't enter a partnership that will bury your life. The journey that will take your life, may you never go on that journey. Whether by sea, by air, by land, may you never go on that journey. Stand up on your feet. You will never go on that journey. 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 Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Did you receive something today? Lift your hands and give the Lord the praise. Give the Lord the praise. Can we all stretch our hands in front? I prophesy upon your hands. The month of February, your harvest shall look for you. All that is yours shall look for you. From the north and the south and the east and the west. I call it dawn in Jesus' name.